I have always liked these Nanoleaf style RGB panels, but they are way too expensive for what they are. So I decided to make my own DIY version instead. And honestly, it turned out better than I expected. And I thought I would share what I did so you guys can get some ideas or inspirations from it. So to design these panels, I used Fusion 360 which is a CAD modeling tool. And the most important part while designing was to figure out the right height for the smooth lighting. The first step was designing the panels, here's what I came up in Fusion 360. I kept the height of the panels tall enough to properly diffuse the light. If it's too shallow, the LEDs show up as individual dots. And I really wanted a smooth even glow. I think this balance worked out well. The height of the panel would vary as per your design, but here are my measurements. One detail I focused on was adding these light channel gaps along the edges. These let the LED strip pass through without needing to cut or solder. And this was actually the part I was most happy about. Instead of cutting and soldering the strip lights like most DIY will do, I just designed the small channel so the LED strip can pass through. So no breaks, no soldering required. Honestly, I am not great at soldering, so this was a way to keep things simple while avoiding unnecessary breaks in the strip. To make it easier to 3D print, I am printing two panels at a time. Each panel is easy to print and even easier to get glued together later. Breaking it up also helped when I started thinking about how to arrange the panels on the wall, especially for corners or unique layouts. After a couple of days of printing, I had 18 or 19 panels ready to go. It was a bit of a marathon, but honestly, watching the printer do its thing is pretty satisfying. For assembly, I used Micro Gorilla Glue. It's strong, sets quickly and doesn't leave a mess if you are careful. But before gluing anything, I planned everything out on a paper. I sketched the entire layout to scale on paper. This made it much easier to visualize how the pieces would fit together. The straight line in which you are seeing is basically to show the corner of my wall. If you are doing something like this, I would definitely recommend having a guide. It saves so much time. This way, I didn't have to worry about whether everything was lining up correctly or not. Let the pieces dry overnight to let the glue do its thing. So the next day before sticking the LED strip to the panels, I tested it out. This step is important. Just power it up and check. It saves you a lot of trouble later if something is wrong. Nothing is worse than finding out you have got a faulty strip after it's glued in. This one worked fine, but honestly, you can use any LED strip you have lying around as long as it's the right length. I went with the addressable RGB because it looks good and can be controlled by my home assistant. I also mapped out the path for the LED strip. The idea was to keep the strip in one continuous piece. Remember, no cutting, no soldering. Just thread it through the channels I had designed. And once everything was assembled, it was time to hang the panels. I used small nails for this. It keeps things easy to adjust or remove later. Plus, the separate sections made it manageable to handle alone. I started with the main layout and worked outwards. If you have got a more complex design, you might want to plan this part carefully. I stuck to something simple for now. Everything was in place, the layout looked good, the wiring was done and now it was the time to power it on and see if it is working as planned. I like how the layout came together, it's clean and the gaps for the LEDs worked out perfectly. When I turned them on, the light was smooth and even, just like I had hoped. The diffusion really makes a difference here, so if you are making on your own, that's something to keep in mind. I even connected with Hexa for easy control. Hexa, turn on hex panels. Okay. Nothing fancy, just practical.
So that's how I built my own RGB hex panels. And honestly, it was a fun weekend project that cost way less than the fancy stuff online. And if you are planning to make on your own, I hope this helps you. And if you have got ideas to make it even better, drop them in the comments. I would love to learn from you too. Thanks for watching and see you in the next build.